Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. We're going to Saturday's video. So it's Saturday and Saturdays. I do Cellar Saturday, drink something off the shelves behind me. This is one of those. So it's Central Waters, uh, Barley Wine Ale, it's Brewers, Brewers Reserve, uh, malt beverage aged in used oak bourbon barrels. And this is from 2016, so it's eight years old at the time of review. And uh, I have more of these, so I'm hoping it's good because I do have a couple more. Gotta love barley wines. It's a very cold day here, and this definitely seems like something I should be drinking on a cold day. Wait, did I find the ABV? American barley wine aged in used oak bourbon barrels. This beer develops uh, rich flavors that deepens over time. Winner of the gold medal in 2008. It's a great American beer festival. I must be missing the ABV. Yeah, anyway, whatever. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description box below. Looks like a barley wine, brown with some red in it, about core finger of a dark khaki head. It's going to say aroma. Caramel, like definitely caramel, caramelized sugars, dates, figs, raisins. Big vanilla, nice bourbon. This, this smells like really good. I was kind of kicking myself for pouring the whole thing in the glass. I'm like, oh, I should have left a little bit more room for aroma at the top there, but it, it's not a problem at all. It, it, it's got all those sweet, whether whether it's fruit or something more, you know, confectionery like caramel. Like it's got all that stuff for sure. It's got the bourbon, a little bit of the oak too. So like the barrel comes through nicely. A little bit of uh, vanilla. Doesn't smell stale at all. Like this, this just. It's like, how do I want an English barley, English style barley wine to smell? I got nothing else. It's about the taste. Cheers. So the, it's good. Just to cut to the chase. The aroma made it seem like it was going to be much sweeter. So it did take me a second. This is not full English. This is not full like Bigfoot either though, like American style barley wine. As someone who likes both styles, I do prefer English style, but I do like you know the American more hoppy one. This one's somewhere in the middle. I'm just, I'm struggling which side is it closer to. You're kind of getting the best of both, both worlds here. Um, Molasses, which I did not get in the aroma, do get in the taste. The dried fruits, the fruity stuff, caramel, oak for sure. Some of that bourbon and stuff. Uh, relatively dry finish for, again, like how sweet it smelled. I, I was thinking it was going to you know, taste a lot more sweet than it does. I mean like booze-soaked raisins and all that for sure. About halfway and then through the fin through to the finish and into the finish, there's a um it's not savory, it's it's like it, it's somewhat popsicle stick, so it's like a little bit of oak, but there's like something almost on the path towards savory. It's not soy sauce. I yeah, I'm really struggling to label that better. Yeah, so yeah, it's somewhere between like molasses, wood, oaky. Yeah, I don't know. First step towards soy sauce. I'll give you that much. Um, so yeah, it's it's a pretty cool beer. Like it, it's it's complex. It's not just like super like in a good way. It's not super easy to drink. It's like whoa, like there's a bunch of flavors going on. You have to kind of stop and, and contemplate it, which I like. It makes for you know better beer reviews where it's not like one note or something. Slight cherry note emerging. The illusion of baking spices. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I don't know if this is peak, to be fair, 
but it certainly isn't much worse than I've ever had this beer, this vintage or not. So like, I'm still really happy with how this is drinking and I'm not upset that I have more. Uh, yeah, this is, this is really good. I like the aroma more than the taste, just to be crystal clear. But the taste is really nice, so happy to have more. Good price point, all that, if you can find these. Uh, but yeah, have you had this one before? This vintage, different vintages? What do you think about aging it? Do you think eight years is too long? Blah, 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 blah. Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews, both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.